So this Pasuk is telling you that on the 10th day of the 7th month, the month of Tishrei, 7th from Nisan, it's Yom HaKippur. And on this day, you should afflict your souls. So now, what does afflict mean? Does it say here you should not eat or drink? No. So how do we know that Yom Kippur is a fasting? So th this we know because it's written in Parshas. The Torah tells you, okay, in Achacham, of course, Achacham tell us, and whatever Achacham tell us is the Torah law. They looked into the Torah to see how we know what Yomisa means. So they found that in Sefer Devon, in Parshas Deke, Perekhes, Pasugim, Vayancha, Vayarivecha, Vayachilcha et Haman. And he afflicted you, and he starved you, and he fed you the man. The man we received in the desert was food of affliction, because when we went to sleep at night, we knew that that's it. The next food we're getting is in the morning. And there's something called pas besalo. When do you feel satisfied? That even if you're not hungry, but you know, there's always food in the freezer, food in the basket, food in the closet. Even if you know tomorrow you're going to have all the food in the world, just the fact that you feel like your cabinets are empty, you don't feel satisfied. So too, that's what the man was. Every day they got new, new, new food. Excuse me. Every day they got new food. So there was this feeling of I'm not feeling satisfied. Also, when you ate the man, you didn't see exactly. If you want a great feta cheese salad, you didn't see the cheese and the green vegetables. You pictured it in your mind. So it still leaves you feeling a little bit lacking. So therefore, the man was considered a level of fasting. So now our Chacham said, since Vayancha Vayaribecha, he starved you, came together with the word Vayancha, he afflicted you. From here our sages learn that when it says, Venisim et nafsho seichem, you should afflict your souls. On um, Yom Kippur, it means that you should starve yourself. How does the Torah tell you to eat Erev Yom Kippur? We know it's a great mitzvah, Erev Yom Kippur, right before the fast to make a beautiful feast. Let's see how the Torah tells us that. Well, we go back to Chumash Vayikra, Pashas Emma, Parak Chavimu, Pasuk Lamed Beis. Shabbos Shabbaton Hulachem, V'inisem et nafsho seichem b'tish'a l'chodesh. So, the Torah tells you that you should afflict your souls on the ninth of the month. And you know what you do on the ninth of the month? You make a big feast. So, the, the Rebbe Hamashiach explains, the Pasha Chukas, in 1991. So, the Rebbe Hashiach explains that the Torah, instead of using the words eating and drinking, says the same word, V'inisen. You should afflict your souls. So now the word v'inisim, in the Pasuk that tells you about Erev Yom Kippur, the Eve of Yom Kippur, tells you you should eat and drink on Yom Kippur. And the same word in the Pasuk that tells you to fast on Yom Kippur, what word is used? The same word, inisim, meaning in one Pasuk, inisim is eating and drinking, and another Pasuk, inisim is fasting. In the Gemara, it tells us, based on this Pasuk, in Yoma, it says, from here we learn, since the same word, it says you should afflict your souls on the ninth, and we eat. So from here we learn, whoever eats and drinks on the ninth, Arab Yom Kippur, it's like he ate and it's like he fasted for two days, the ninth and the tenth. And this clip of two, clip two of Guru Navatis, the Rebbe Mashiach says, that, and the Rebbe says, changes this passage from the Gemara for the first time in history. The Rebbe Mashiach says, Whoever eats and drinks on the ninth says they forget essen on the chicken. Side the ninth, side the ten. Alachas kama kama, but stay with me. Whoever eats and drinks on the ninth, it's like he ate and drank on the ninth and ate and drank on the tenth, and especially on the tenth itself. So now the Rebbe Hashem is saying what used to be that when you ate on the ninth, it's like you fasted two days. The word inisim, which is to fast, is is really it's both Pasuk is talking about fasting except you can't fast two days so eat and it's like you fasted two days but now the Rebbe Hashir is saying we're turning it over when the ninth inisem means to eat and drink now it's inisem the tenth also means eating and drinking now in the Geula it's turning over it's telling you that when you're eating in the ninth it's like you ate and drank two days 